let's bring this part from the drawing all the way out to G-code in advanced fabrication. So typically your part starts off looking something like that. And if you have a good um, designer, he's named his, his layers, you know, put the title block on layers, text, uh, and the part, which is the black here. For our purposes, that's all we want. The holes, the outer, and the inner profiles. So an easy way to clean all this up is if we go to our layer picker, selecting all the layers. And like I said, a good CAD jockey is probably named as layers so that you can see what belongs to what. So we've got our part layer, that's this black. So let's go ahead and we'll delete the, all the other layers. So let's pick, we've got our layer picker turned on. We'll pick layer one, there's nothing there, but layer three has all the text, the bend lines, and the title block. So it looks like we've got everything except for the part in the active group. So if we just hit the delete key, and now we've got our part left. For this model, I've loaded up our job with some punch tools and a laser tool, so that's all there. We could go to our job info. Let's go ahead and look at that. So we'll use our job info. Let's fill in all this stuff. Uh, The program ID is like the four digit number, the O number sometimes it's called, that's at the top of the program. So we'll just call this a four digit number. And for the machine, I'll choose a combination punch laser. And then what it, by choosing it, I, I filled in the SMF, the smart cam machine file and the CGT the code generator template file that we'll use for coding this at the end. Uh, and I think that's all we need to worry about there. Um, so we have punches in here, the A brown and the, and the eight inch diameter round, I think are the ones that I'm worried about. So right now, if we were to select everything, I want to auto select, I want to place these punches automatically on everything except for the inner and outer profile. We need to kind of handle these separately as we'll see here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the inner and outer profile out of the active group by using the profile picker. And then I'll hold the control key and I'll click one of the elements in this profile and one of the elements in this profile. And now I can go to under punch cut is called auto select. And everything's turned on and that's fine. Now let's just hit go and see what happens. And it looks like it's punched at all. So why don't we go ahead, everything except for the inner and outer profile, and that's what we wanted. So let's go to verify and let's toggle our stock and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, so the inner and the outer profile are left to do. For the inner profile, it's going to leave this big slug. We're going to cut these with the laser, inner and outer profile. So I'm thinking we probably want to start and end all the cuts on the top of the part. So that way, the part is closest to the operator, and we'll put a an M00 uh, a program stop after both of these cuts so the operator can reach in with a magnet and pull that slug out, hit the go button, and then it'll cut the part out, and there'll be another move program stop to pull the part out. So we want them to start and end, let's say on these two top lines. Right now, I don't know where the, these profiles start and end. So I'm gonna force the profiles to start and end at the middle of both of those. So I'll use geometry edit. And I'm gonna split both of these, these lines in two. So it'll be element division and say half the length and no gap width. Then I'll pick that element. You can see that it split it. You can see the little X there that shows that there's two elements there now, and then the same thing there. And it looks like this: the outer one goes um, clockwise and the inner one goes counterclockwise. So let's change the starts of these profiles. So I'll right click. And I'm going to call that the profile start. 
can't see anything happening, but it is. And then this, I'll do the same thing. So now both of these profiles start in the middle. Okay, so now with step or laser cutter, we can go to profile. And then let's see what we have for under more. We can see that we've got a lead. I think 0.2 is probably too much. I'm going to change that to 0.1 for a lead in. So to lead in 100 thousandths, go around the part and then come off 100 thousandths because lead out says to match. So hit that and then the profile, we'll do the inner one first. So I'll pick the inner profile and I'll hit go. And it looks like it's started at the top like I wanted and it runs around the part and does its thing. We can verify this now, why not? And then there it's cutting the inner profile. And now we want to put a program stop in there. So let's go to create machine events and under miscellaneous options, let's do a program stop. And then let's say, have the message say remove slug and hit okay. Then this little thing here indicates that the uh, Program stop is there. Okay, so now let's go back to our profile. That's under punch cut profile. This time let's pick the outer profile. And we'll just use the same leads. Just hit go. And we can see now it's starting to end in up here. And now let's just go right back to miscellaneous options. And we're going to do another program stop, but this one's going to say remove part. And then we'll go. And you can see the user event marker. So let's verify this. The program stops won't show up. But we know we'll see it in code here in just a minute. And it runs around and cuts the inner slug. Runs around, cuts the outer part. That looks good. Okay, so now we can go to create code. And I'm going to tell it to open the code file, change this to TXT so it'll open with Notepad. Our machine is the combo punch laser. We'll hit create code. And there's our code file. Here's that that uh, the program ID, and it's a panel we cut for the customer. And 209 tool 209 is our eighth inch punch. It looks like. Then it looks like 312 is the Auburn punch in an auto auto index at 120, and then back at one at 60. Then it sets up for the laser. Uh, looks like power frequency and feed, rapids to the top of the first cut, starts a laser, then cuts the inner slug, does a program stop, removes slug, rapids here, starts a laser back up, and runs around, and then removes the part. So easy as that, really.